You ready to go explore Slot Canyon? Yeah. Looks like Alyssa's ready. <laughs> She's fast asleep. Are we there yet? Hey everybody, John here. Today we are going to go explore a slot canyon. We are in Grand Staircase Escalante or Escalante. I'm not, I'm not sure how you say it, but it's a national monument in southern Utah. It's absolutely huge. And there are all sorts of crazy backcountry places to explore. And today we're exploring Willis Creek, an amazing slot canyon back here in the wilderness. Super excited and uh, it should be awesome. So let's go. Well, here's the creek. Ah, look at this. Careful, Matthew. Careful, Matthew. Don't. Look at this guys, this is awesome. Look at this. <laughs> this is awesome. This is a really cool slot. I've never seen one like this with so many overhangs. It's awesome. Here, you guys stand right there. I want to get your picture. Slot canyons are a must see for anyone traveling in Southern Utah or anywhere within the Colorado Plateau for that matter. This area is very large and crosses the boundaries of four different U.S. states, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado. It's a fascinating place geologically for many reasons, not the least of which are the fantastic rock formations created through the process of erosion. These rock formations leave behind some of the most iconic landscapes in the world. Canyons such as the Narrows in Zion National Park, the Hoodoos of Bryce Canyon, and even the walls of the Grand Canyon itself are a result of water slowly leaving its mark over time. Water is the key here, especially in the case of a slot canyon. These slot canyons are just amazing works of natural engineering. You know, as the stream flows through the soft sandstone, little by little it carries away little bitty particles of it. And over time, that turns into a slot canyon. So it's the process of erosion takes many, many hundreds of years, maybe even thousands, depends on the slot canyon, but it's quite impressive, the shapes and things that are left behind. Do you guys notice anything about the cliff walls since we entered? They are striped, they've got lots of squiggles, but what else? They're getting taller. You guys notice that? Because the river is cutting deeper and deeper into the sandstone as it goes downhill. And so the cliffs are getting taller and taller. Let's see what you found. Oh yeah, that hole. And there was another one in there. It's got tiny legs. Yeah. Just love these slot canyons, they're so cool. Just can't get enough of them.
Okay, Ellie, how did you like the slot canyons? Mm, I liked how the water feels, and I liked all the tadpoles, and I liked the rocks, and the big ones and the little ones. And I like it. Everybody. You guys like the hike? Yeah. I saw 32 tadpoles. Tadpoles, not tadpoles. So, some people have asked me how it is that we are able to do all this traveling that we're doing, go on all these adventures. And basically, I mean, there's no short answer to it. But I work, you know, a nine to five job. I work eight hours a day. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have a company work for a company that lets me work remotely and so as long as I have an internet connection I'm able to do my job and then at the end of the day we go explore everyone gets in the car and we go out and have fun so that is how we're able to do all these million adventures and it's uh it's really quite cool We are out in the middle of nowhere. We just drove on the worst road I've ever driven on with our van, but we made it to Peekaboo Gulch, which is in the middle of nowhere. I mean, literally there is nothing out here. We've driven half an hour on a dirt road into the middle of nowhere. And so now we gotta hike over to the Slot Canyon and get in the shade because it is hot out here. It's surprising actually how many people are out here. Apparently these slot canyons are super cool. So that's why people make the trek out here even with these terrible roads. We're just about there. We're waiting up for Emma. We're gonna take a look at her foot. She thinks she might have a blister. So let's look at it and make sure she's all right. So Emma's got a uh, raw spot here. We're gonna put some mole skin on there. Hopefully uh, help the rubbing a little bit. All right, we got Emma all patched up for her blister. Some mole skin on there, and we are headed down into the gulch. Wow, look at that. That's cool. Yeah. Do you guys know which slot this is? All right. Oh, look at this. Okay, we're going up into the canyon. This is definitely more canyoneering than it is hiking. This is uh, not an easy gulch to get up into, but boy is it cool. Oh, look at this, look at this. Wow. This slot is awesome. What an amazing canyon, so cool. This is tough though, this is, this is a lot of climbing. Glad we didn't bring the little girls, there's no way we would have been able to do this. No. All right, let's keep going. Oh my goodness. Holy I'm cow. Look at this slot. That way or that way? My Whoa. back popped. <laughs> this way is easier. I'm gonna take the tunnel. <laughs> oh wow, Emma, thin tunnel. Or big tunnel. Oh man, this is tight in here. 
What's around the next corner? Um, whoa, Dad! That is... Whoa, gross! What? what? Oh my goodness, what in the world is that? That is a giant locust or something. Oh my gosh! Holy cow! Wait, wait. Matthew just found this giant, giant bug. You can't tell how big it is. There's my hand. Uh oh, wow! Oh. I caught it. <laughs> ah! That scared me. It made a weird noise. Oh, look, he's doing Whoa. his defensive posture. <laughs> his wings. Wait, just... His wings are beautiful. Look at this defensive mechanism. Defense mechanism. He's his trying wings. to look all big and scary. His wings are beautiful. That's really cool. What a neat bug. <sighs> he is huge, too. Look at how big that is. If you catch there him, he goes. it's terrifying when you just... Hold on to him. So let's talk slot canyon safety for a moment. As cool as they are, slot canyons can be a death trap if you're not careful. Let's just say that most slot canyons are in remote areas with very harsh desert environment. So Peekaboo Gulch was no exception. It was really hot. And I would not have taken our little kids on this hike. Some people do, but you know, there are just too many ways to get hurt. Even just getting to the canyon was difficult. So here are the biggest dangers of hiking the slots and how to avoid them. Number one is drowning. This might sound silly that you could drown out in the desert, but think about it for a moment. Slot canyons are formed by water. This means that if there is a rainstorm, all the water that falls is going to fill up the slot canyon in a matter of minutes. If there's any chance of rain or clouds, do not hike a slot. Flash floods can happen without warning and they're merciless killers. Even if it's not raining right where you are, know what's upstream of your slot canyon and plan accordingly. Number two is dehydration. The deserts of the Colorado Plateau are hot, they're dry, and they're remote. Not bringing enough water is sure to result in headaches, fatigues, and possibly worse. It's recommended that you drink at least four liters of water, that's a gallon, per person per day and we can vouch that that water goes very fast. Number three is slipping and falling. Slot canyons are almost always composed of some sort of sandstone. Sandstone is generally easy to climb, but it can be, well, sandy. So always wear good ankle supporting footwear. Watch for hot spots in your shoes and also watch your step. Jumping, running, and climbing without the proper equipment are good ways to get seriously hurt. And if you're far from help, you're going to be in big trouble. This is super narrow. I don't know if I can walk uh, front ways through this whole thing. Uh, oh my goodness. Ooh. Well, once you make it out, it's awesome. <sighs> claustrophobia. No, I'm actually not claustrophobic. This is hard work. This is a lot more than a hike. You're climbing and scrambling over everything. It's very cool though. I mean, beautiful, amazing rock formations. But yeah, I still wouldn't recommend this with little kids. Definitely not. It's just too far out here. There's too many ways to get hurt. But I'm glad we came anyway, just to see it. All right. We made it back to the mouth. Now we just gotta climb down out of this thing. Good job. All right, Emma. Good turn. Nice work. All right. Now I'm just gonna jump. That was a pretty awesome slot canyon. We uh, originally had planned to check out the other one which is spooky gulch but we don't want to take any more time because we know mom and the girls are waiting for us but we're glad we came all right we all made it back to the car everyone's alive just a little hot the road going back was so rough that we popped a tire I may have been going faster than I should have, but uh, that's beside the point. 
So we put the spare on, and now we're looking for a place to get it fixed. <laughs> Adventure. Are we there yet?